bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hello again. And welcome to French Hose Bear Reviews. I'm Scott. I'm Jeff. Mr. Freeze has a bottle of beer? Bottle? Yes, a 12-ounce bottle at that. What's it made out of? Glass. Aluminum? Glass. Oh. Okay. What is it? This one is... Lagunitas? The Waldo's Special Ale. Yes. 11.3% alcohol, though. What? You want to try it? Yeah. All right. You want to open it? Yeah. All right. So just as a disclaimer, we have a, a, a little warning here. Lagunitas is not craft beer. Correct. So if you have issues with beer not being 100% craft, do not drink this beer. Do not buy it in the stores because you'll be going against your ethical decisions. Right. Um, we just wanted to put that out there. This is not craft beer. We do realize that. But some beers that aren't craft, whatever that definition is, it seems like there's a lot of definitions, can still be good. But if you do have an issue with that, stay away from Laguanitas, the Waldos special <laughs> ale. There was some story about 420, and it sounded like oh, it that was, was a long one. Sounded like it had a lot to do with marijuana, and we don't want to. We want to stay away from that. We want to separate ourselves from that. Right. We're going to talk about the beer here. Yes. It's not about the backstory because it seems like it was kind of sketchy, uh, off topic, and uh, maybe some illegal stuff. So, um, this is part of their one hitter series, uh, 2018. It was released on 420. Um, and. It's supposedly quite limited to get. Uh, I bought a single at Corkscrew uh, store by us on 102. And 100 Eboos, lots of action on beer reviews. So I said, we got to get this. We, we're a little late to the game, but... Right, we usually we, are. Yeah. We're in Rhode Island. Right. So uh, there's probably still some of these kicking around. Um, I paid two and change for this single... 239 maybe something like that nice it's not bad for 11.3 no. percent and um we like the ibus over 100 plus yes yeah so they describe this as herbaceous botanical dank and resinous yes it's dry so it smells like a basement mm -hmm. a damp basement yes and uh resinous that means it's gonna be sticky i don't know i guess Ink? sure Botanical is plant like, flowery. Yes. Yeah. In our Like your personality. Okay. <laughs> Dry, it's, not malty. It's obviously filtered. Just a little bit of, of head on there. It smells good. Um, yeah, clean looking, uh, looking beer. Just for John, can you give the uh, bubble status? Uh, inconsistent bubbles, some very tiny bubbles, and then yeah, some medium little sized. Um, Little to medium, let's say. It looks very carbonated to me as I move my, my glass around them. Swishy. Yes. I'd love to stick my nose in it. How about you? Go ahead. Ooh, it smells good. It's danky smell, for sure. Yeah. Exactly uh, as described. Yes, uh, definitely basement smell. Damp. Dank. So I'm not know. sure what category this is really in. It's listed as a special ale. I'm guessing it's like a double or even a triple. Yeah, I think it's probably just an ale, a heavy-hearted ale. Yeah. Hopped to bejesus. Holy bejesus, yeah. it's hopped. It's probably too... I mean, it's a special ale. It's got to be what it is. It smells like, to me, like clean hops, though. Like like kind of like a West, a West Coast-style yeah. IPA, but very over-the-top hops. Right, but I can see the definite dankness basement. I am getting the flowery kind of... See, I'm not getting much uh, botanicals. The flowery stuff and the dank, definitely. But enough talking. Let's drink this thing. Cheers, buddy. Cool. Ooh. Yeah. 
Vamos lá. It's actually pretty good. Um, it's actually very good. Yeah, 11.3 is hidden very well. Mm -hmm. Not boozy, hoppy. Yeah, that's what I get is hoppy. And uh, it is dry. It, it, it is dry. Not sweet. This is as advertised. Yeah. Which yeah, many beers either. are not. A lot of the beers we review, we, we read the labels or the generic brewery description. Right. And we're like, no, that's not what we're getting. This is pretty much as advertised, I think. Mm -hmm. This is a special ale. I would agree. Um, I'd say if you can if you can try one of these, I don't know if you'd want to... Two of these would be tough to get. The four pack? I'm guessing. It would be tough to get through one. Yeah, you'd be a mess. Not only that, just the... It's so... Yeah. Hoppy. I mean, and I love hops, and I think it's... This one particular right now is delicious. Yeah. Well, it, I think if I get to number three and number four... It reminds me of, like, time. The Crusher by Alchemist. Right. Like, wow, this is great, but it's almost too intense yeah. on the hop side. Um, and your, your your mouth is going to be blown out for the rest of the night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyways, I have to, no idea what he's talking about. Back to the beer. Um, I'm, I really like this. Your palate, I should say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, uh, I'm I'm I think I'm like a four two. I'm at a 4 2 on this one. Um, I tend to rate beers that taste different higher. I wasn't there yet. Um, I wasn't at the the numbers game yet. But it's got a, a real different taste to me, which I like. It's something bringing something new to the table. Mm -hmm. High alcohol, which is always fun, a, a good time. Uh, and the price was still pretty, pretty darn good. So I, I'm going to hit this with a 4.2. We. Do not look at untapped until after we rate now. Um, we don't want to uh, be influenced by ratings we see on there. So I'm gonna be at like a four. Okay. So the French Horse Beer Review average with my quick math skills is a 4.1. And the only reason I'm at a four and not where you are is like There's no flavors to pick out. It's just like hops. Yeah. Like no. Yeah. It, I can kind of see that. It's it's, it's um, not uh, you know freshly dried mango and it's probably because it's not craft beer. Oh maybe <laughs> maybe. I'm just joking. Then I'm just joking. All right. All right. Let's look it up on Untapped. Um, I would definitely pick one of these up if you're a non-craft drinker. Um, and even if you like craft beer, and, and don't show your friends, but just do this, you know, secretly, pick up a, a Waldo Special Ale. Uh, All what right. Do we, what do we got on Untapped? This is 2018 model, right? Yes, it is. 4.19. Oh, come on. <laughs> right. So I was right. I was more right than you, but that's kind of usually where it is. That's all right, not true. so that's about like a four, four, four. That's two, not true at all. <laughs> about a four-two average. We're a four-one. Uh, it's a good beer, and it's eleven point three percent. It will, uh, it will get you there for sure. And uh, this is our first review of the night, so we're gonna just kickstart this thing with yep. a, a punch of eleven point three ABV. Uh, Lagunitas non-craft Waldo Special Ale available in stores though. Yeah, a store beer, not craft. Check it out. Check out where we are in the description down below. Um, Redbubble, we do sell merchandise on there. They have sales once a week. We usually post them all over social media. So if you're interested in buying something, wait until you see one of those posts. You can save 20%, 25% sometimes. So uh, the shirts are good quality and customer service is top notch. We had a few issues with some garments. Send them some a pitch, garments. That's what we say in the biz. Yeah. Uh, Fancy words. You send them a picture of what's wrong, and um, they tell you to keep what you have, and they they expedite one. Like, Maybe not in all cases. Very quickly. 
Um, Maybe not in all cases. This is why we went with Redbubble. Customer service was, uh, I looked at about four different places to do print on demand <laughs> merchandise and they were top notch. So uh, check it out. That's all I got. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Two French Please, French please subscribe. Uh, we need more subscribers. We, a lot of percentages of our, our watchers, our, our viewers are not oh, subscribed. Right. So just click on that little hop. Set up an account. Out. It takes uh, two seconds. It's so easy. Yeah, I know. Yes. I know this. You know this. I do. I subscribed. I did too. Yeah. I, I clicked on the notifications thing too. Yeah, me too. You should. That little bell. <laughs> Have a great night. Good night. Hundreds of bottles of beer on the wall. Hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by turning on into French. Oh.